Hello ladies and gentlemen, once again this is Nev from Nev's Tech Fits and I want to do a bit of a follow up to the Friends Don't Let Friends Get Acer Laptops. Now, I had a problem with this Acer laptop and uh, basically I put a new drive in, I put a Western Digital drive in that was a hybrid and I should have never done that because these hybrid drives, at least the ones that I was working with, were really bad, really bad, really known to failure and really disappointed in HP. And uh, because of it, I find myself in a, a crazy position where I don't know what the best drive is. It's all like throwing darts at a board. It's uh, it's just random these days. I would still get HP over Seagate though, or Max or Max over Seagate these days. But what's really interesting is you get solid state drives, and you don't even see HP producing these things. They're all SanDisk and uh, Kingston and whatnot. Anyways, so me and a lot of other people have had problems with our. Uh, with our Acer Aspire V5 uh, 571 series laptops. There's no way I was going to remember that. I had to look at the number. Anyways, so the problem that we were having is once our hard drive died, or once we wanted to install a new operating system, there was no button. There's no button you could press to get into the BIOS, to get into the UEFI to make that happen. So once my hard drive died, I lost my whole laptop. And I still haven't gotten back to totally fixing it yet. Uh, somewhere around here I have the door, but I can't find that right now. So, of course, a little bit of duct tape will fix everything. Anyways, the way I fixed this, the way I eventually fixed this, was I found a Windows 8 computer. It was actually a Samsung that had a UEFI disk. So, I couldn't press any button. There was no button that I could press to get this thing working. Uh, to get it into the BIOS so that I could boot off another disk. But anyways, here it is. What you have to do is get a UEFI disk. I got it off another laptop. It wasn't even an Acer. It wasn't anything like it. It was some Samsung thing. And, uh, of course, it said you cannot boot into Windows because there's an issue because, you know, you don't have the drivers. It wasn't set up for that system. And within the recovery options, there is an option to reboot into your BIOS, your U, UEFI, and I got in. I got in and I could switch things to a legacy, and with that I have my trusty USB stick. I still gotta make a stick that's uh, bootable on UEFI, but uh, that's for another day. Anyways, so I got uh, Windows reinstalled. I still don't have my picture saved off the old disk. I'll never trust Western Digital like I used to. But that's, that's what you gotta do, guys. If you have one of these uh, much maligned systems, if it goes down on you, then what you got to do is stick in a UEFI drive. That's it. Anyways, good luck guys on your repairs. Hope you have better luck than I did. And uh, let's get those operating systems on here. Have a good one guys. Catch you later.